Did some of you see the Comic Con trailer? <laughs> and did some of you see the trailer that was online? <laughs> did some of you see the Sweden trailer? <laughs> Which is a masterpiece. <laughs> well, I was so inspired by that I decided to make another fucking trailer. <laughs> Let's see them sweep this one out. But, um, you know, what you're gonna see is the movie is now 85% complete in VFX. We are uh, mixing, we are uh, doing the music and so forth. It'll be ready very, very soon. And uh, you're gonna see basically the trailer that is, uh, has been done for this event only. And one, and one more event in Vegas and that's it. Nobody will see this again. So this, uh, this trailer is for you. You're gonna see a couple of images that look uh, more grainy and uh, sort of with a distortion for TV. They are documentary images from a prologue in the movie. The rest is the movie and uh, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and show it. <laughs> Uh, wow, uh, Guillermo, let's talk a little bit about um, just the shoot of this thing, the, I, the physical sets you built for the inside of the Jaegers, for the environments that you were in. You know, I know people are used to thinking of everything as being green screen thing, but you built so much to do this, yeah. and it's such a physical location-based shoot. Yeah. Um, talk about pulling off the scale of this thing. Well, we knew that, I mean, in a movie like this, the thing you want to convey uh, to an audience is a sense of awe uh, and scale. With these things, 25-story high motherfuckers kicking each other's heads. <laughs> you know, and, and basically, we knew that we, we occupied every stage, and including the largest stage in North America, in the Toronto Pinewood Studios, and then we spilled over uh, other sets that we couldn't fit. We built uh, several blocks of uh, Hong Kong, to destroy, and then we destroy them. <laughs> we, did, uh, we, we built, for example, the head of the robot, which with the machine, the hydraulics, everything in it, was about four stories high. And then we shook that set. Every time the actors, the monster would hit it, the whole set would rock one side or the other, front and backwards, which made the actors very, very happy. <laughs> you know, because I insisted that we would do it with the real actors, not stunts. And, uh, and we would do it with the physical machines that control the robot attached to them and not a digital machine. So they have basically an incredible apparatus behind them that they have to carry that was the size of a VW Beetle. You know, and they have to move it. And uh, at the end of the day, they were exhausted. They were destroyed physically. And I was sipping my fourth cappuccino. <laughs> Extremely hard on everyone. But, 